<laughs> These are the books I found today in my little thrift thrift store run. They had a lot of books, but um, a lot of them were fiction and just didn't have too many good nonfiction titles. But I was able to get, let's see, one, two, three, four, eleven books and the two that are standing there the larger ones um, might be better sellers the one on the right the forbidden schoolhouse um, only has eight used offers it's just under 700,000 rank and it has 27 reviews or ratings um, and the new version there's a new FBA selling for $27 and no used FBAs and only eight offers like I said so that one might be able to get around 20 bucks for um, maybe a little bit more. Um, have to see. Have to see how many uh, copies it's been selling. So yeah, I bought those 11 books today, and <clears throat> there wasn't any home runs. There was that one that was pretty good. It was definitely worth going because I hadn't checked out their book section yet. I just needed to know whether it was going to be worth adding to my list of solid sourcing locations, but it turns out not so great. It might be worth going, you know, every two or three months. Something like that. I also found some great VHS tapes there as well. I drove a little bit further than I normally do for a thrift store. Uh, usually I drive further for a, uh, a library sale, something like that, where I know I can get, you know, 30 to 50 books at least. Um, so I, dro I drove about 20 miles one, one way, which is a little, a little far, but I just wanted to know uh, if it was a good spot. Because if it turned out to be a good spot, then it would definitely be worth visiting at least every few weeks or at least every month. But with 11 books, I should be able to, to make, you know, I should be able to profit anywhere between 50, I don't know, I would say around 60, 70 dollars or so, depending on uh, what I price some of those books. So it was worth the trip and just doing some reconnaissance, I'm uh, information gathering. It's a large thrift store, uh, so, and while I was there, they were adding more books to the bookshelves, which is always a good sign. Uh, could have just been, you know random they were doing it that day and they don't do it every day who knows but you never know and the prices were good buy one get one free for the 85 cent um, paperbacks so basically get two two books for f about 40 some cents a piece which is a great price as well <laughs> so if you're getting a book for 40 cents then you know selling it for nine or eight dollars you're still going to make a profit um, you know not not a ton of money you're going to get three four bucks but but you're still, you know, off, off of 40 cents, it's a great return on your investment. And you do that a hundred times, you know, there you go. You know, three, four hundred bucks. It's not easy to go out there and source with two kids, especially a baby who doesn't talk yet and who needs stuff. But no excuses, especially in the new year. I hope you didn't have excuses last year. But if you really want to make this big, which is what I want to do, you know, I want to double uh, or triple my uh, book inventory and consistently sell um, 20 to 25 a day, which is about 600 plus every four weeks. You know, I've seen people on a Facebook group I'm part of who do that consistently, but they have, you know, five, 6,000 books in an inventory and they're sending in five, 600 books a month, at least, if not more. So it's definitely possible to do that. Um, but you know, you just have to work up to it and I'm doing this part time. So I can only, you know, imagine, uh, how much quicker I would get there if I was able to go out every day and source and list and source and list and source and list and send shipments in every week or possibly even, you know, every, I don't know, depending on how quickly I could turn it around every five days or so. If you really want to make it work for you, you got to get out there and, and hustle and get after it. The books are out there. You just have to go find them. Tomorrow I'll do some more sourcing on the weekend. Hopefully get some garage sales, estate sales. Uh, see what happens with that. As always, remember, keep booking. Thank you.